Well, it's election day. What's the question of the day? Is the question of the day, is it going to be Kamala or Donald? No, actually there's a, another question, a better question, a more important question. You see, the reason I think that's not the question of the day is I think about a poem by the poet Shelley called Ozymandias. It's about a fallen statue. Some think it was of the Pharaoh Ramses II. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings, look ye mighty in despair. And then the line says this, nothing beside remains. Great, mighty, powerful, maybe the greatest in his day, but nothing beside remains. All rulers will one day be dust and stand before God. So the question today is really the one that the ruler asks Jesus in Luke chapter 18 and verse 18. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus is going to work with him. He's going to diagnose his soul, like we talked about Sunday. But how do we answer that question in the New Testament? Not taking a verse out of context or throwing something to the wall and hope it sticks. First, recognition that there's a God who rules. There is one God, the Bible says. Second, recognition that God has a claim on my life and on every life. He's the ruler of heaven and earth, the creator of heaven and earth. Then a recognition I've rebelled. Thought, word, and deed, attitude, and action. I've rebelled. Then a recognition that Jesus took the penalty for my sins on the cross and was raised from the dead for new life. That my sins go to Christ, as it says in 2 Corinthians, that he who knew no sin became sin on our behalf that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Then I change. I change what God tells me to change. That's called repentance. And then I learn to follow the Lord by following the scriptures and being part of the church. Even read Acts chapter 16, the jailer. He's part of a fellowship of believers. He hears the word of God. Then I walk in holiness. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord, it says in the book of Hebrews. There's a pattern to life that isn't just a verse here and there. There's a God who has a claim on me. I've rebelled. Jesus took my sins and gives me his righteousness if I trust him. When I'm born again, I follow the scriptures. I'm part of the church. I walk in holiness. I turn from the ways which are against God's will. That's the answer. It's all over the New Testament. It's given in different ways, different chapters, different verses. But that's the answer to the big question of the day. How does someone inherit eternal life? That's the question that will matter a thousand and ten thousand years from now, long after we've forgotten who wins and who loses today. This is your daily devotional for Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. I hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me. I hope you'll seek first the kingdom of God. And remember how Jesus said in Luke chapter 11, verse 28, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. May that be you and I today and every day. God bless you.